There are many sophisticated probability sampling methods. I'll discuss two methods that go beyond the basic idea of random sampling, but are still relatively simple. These are stratified random sampling and multi-stage cluster sampling. In stratified random sampling, we divide the population into mutually exclusive strata. We sample from each stratum separately using simple random sampling. The separately sampled elements are added together to form the final sample. Let's turn to multi-stage cluster sampling, the final type of random sampling I want to discuss. Multi-stage cluster sampling allows us to use random sampling without going bankrupt. Consider sampling frames that consist of all inhabitants, students, or eligible voters in a certain country. If we were to randomly select elements from these frames, we would have to travel all over the country. In most cases, this is just too expensive. A solution is to randomly sample in stages by first selecting clusters of elements. Say we want to sample math performance in the population of all Dutch students currently in their third year of secondary education. We start by forming a sampling frame of all school districts. This is the first stage, where students are clustered in districts. We randomly select a very small sample of school districts. We can use stratification to make sure we include districts in urban and rural areas. In the second stage, we randomly select schools from the previously selected districts. Students are now clustered in schools. In the third stage, third-year math classes are randomly sampled from the previously selected schools. We can even include a fourth stage, where students are randomly sampled from the previously selected classes. Stratification can be used in all of these stages.